Me and Alex have made it to first repair and off-road in Lexington, South Carolina. Why? Recognize that guy? That's right, what's up? Mark's truck is getting finished today, hopefully, I think. So that's why we're here to see the, is it in there? It's in there, it's in here. On the that's ground? It. It's on the ground. All right, let's go look at it. It's on the ground. Dude! Wow! Damn! Dude, that's nuts! I told you it was massive. Look at that now. Dude! Right through one of the balances. Right through one of the balances. What you think? Dude, this is sick! What's up, buddy? Twan. The man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> the guy that, that built this whole truck. Oh, sick. Maybe Quadro real light Maybe soon. Quad. Jeez. Yeah, this was worth the wait. And then we got Mark's signature. A little <laughs> spike on the... Yeah. Those were uh, black. That was the only like black nut left. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I popped those on there. I still got to do, you know, I still got to do the front. Put the little covers that I got on there on the, the wrap. And I wasn't sure about that. What I'm gonna do? I'm either gonna do it wide or put the the flame back on it. So I'm the boys build a faceplate. Yeah, don't just things will do. This thing is huge. <laughs> All right. I, I, I approved this setup. Like, I'm ready. That face plate looks good. Do you have a metal uh, cutter? It worked. Dude, that is just sick. Roofing money. And the amp steps are white. Right here in front of me is a 2020 or 2021 Duramax. And I am just drooling over it because that's the color I've wanted when I was looking for a new truck. Silver was gonna be, silver was gonna be my next color. I actually didn't want to do another black truck like the one that I got now, but um, it was such a good deal that I, I decided to deal with it. But God, this silver is just beautiful. I either wanted the silver, and then they also have that uh, metallic blue color, but this is just beautiful. I love how. The fender flare is already painted. If the tow mirrors were paint matched, oh my god. And it's got polished wheels. Like this is just enough to look good. Some 35s, 22s, 22 by probably 10. Could be 22 by 11. American Force is a little weird sometimes like that. But wow, just let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this. Like it's a Denali, silver paint match. This is what I want. I actually like this way more than my AT4. Yeah, they have some really cool trucks here. So I'm gonna show you guys what all is in their parking lot. I guess getting ready to be worked on. Well, here's a nice little power stroke here. So I actually like this body style. I think these look pretty good from the front. And then here's an L5P Duramax here with the McGoy's lift. This is a Bubba truck. I love it. Bushwhacker fender flares, Cognito arms, reservoirs, McGoy's lift. Yeah, Bubba truck. Woo, boy. Alignment? Yeah, Baby truck. <laughs> they say the small ones are the loudest ones. Look at that. Damn, son. It's 
So we got a seven to nine inch Mogoy's lift with 38s. That's a five inch Rough Country with 37s. Dude, it's a beast. It's a monster. The front end? Yeah. yeah. With the, with the tires. 38s are perfect. See, th I think this is perfect because sometimes when I look at trucks with 40s, it just looks too, I don't know, like heavy yeah. to me. I don't know if that's the right word. Like It just looks too bulky and heavy. Yeah, up and down. I don't know. Yeah. This looks like portion. Yeah. You know yeah, that looks really good. Oh, I can't wait to have mine sitting high like that. Damn. What do you think? Huge? Yep. Yeah, that sits about tall as like a truck with a 12 inch lift. So, for record, Mark, you're like what, six foot? Maybe six foot, right at six foot. So, if you stood next to your mirror, damn. Look at that. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Gosh. Just the home itself, I mean, it's right at, I don't know, five foot, six inches tall, did it? Yeah. Right? Now, the wood's definitely. I mean, I feel like when you look at this and this hood, it's comparable to the like the 10 to 12, right. the old body styles. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. We'll have to make another trip here soon because we have the wheels, lift, tires, and everything else is done. But there's a there's a few more things that Mark is gonna do. Um, you're gonna wrap the reservoirs white, so it, you know, so you don't have like a little black piece in there, like a random black piece, and then. Tail lights are being intended. Tail lights. Or brake light. Caps. Center caps we need to throw on. Well, yeah, you're going to get the floating center caps. They're on their way. They'll be here April 10th. All right. So, before we head to Tennessee. Okay. I guess next time we meet up, we can talk about why he went with hostile wheels and got rid of his other wheels that we picked up like a month ago. Yeah, I guess that. So, stay tuned for that. It's a pretty funny, not so funny story. But yeah, look at that. Yeah. Next time we come here, it'll be all cleaned, washed. There you go. These are my rock lights. Yes, sir. 24 of them? There are your 22 piece. Okay. Your 22, 22 piece. 22 piece? Yep. Okay. And we've got a few more, so it's 12. And then we've got. 13, 14, 15, mm -hmm. 16, 17, and then 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Okay, so it is 22. Okay, I yeah. thought I gave you a little bit more. Well, there you have it. Pretty much this truck is, I would say, 90% done for Daytona. And the fun part is now I am playing catch up, trying to get my truck to sit like this before Daytona. I mean, he's got 7 to 9 McGoy set at 9, 24 by 14 with 38. I'm also going to be doing 7 to 9 set at 9 with 24 by 14 and 38. So yeah, we're gonna be pretty much the same. Uh, everything, like the specs are gonna be the same, but I'm definitely not gonna have the amount of powder coat and the detail that Mark's truck's got. Not that much. Oh, it's a lot. It's a lot. I'm gonna do a detail video next time just because that truck obviously just got done built. I mean, it still needs an alignment. Like, if you can tell right there, it's, it needs an alignment still. Yeah, I want to do a detailed video when the truck is washed. So, yeah, it's been on the rack for five weeks. So. Exactly. So, the next time I come here, we'll do like an in-depth, complete walk around of this truck. Uh, but today, I just wanted to see it on the ground and actually rolling. We waited so long for this. So, I was like, nope, I I'm going to come even though it's not completely done. We started so. talking about this back in November? Yeah. November. 
The perfect time and right for the warm weather. I Show know, right? Season. Exactly. So, looks great. I, I mean, jeez, I cannot wait for my truck to be that high. Completely satisfied with the way it, it sits. Yeah, I'm I wanted a 10 to 12 inch kit. I don't know if I do anymore. It's Matt. Go look at that Cognito back before you leave. It's got the 10 to 12, the big one. Yeah. I can't even hardly, it's too much. When I started, it's just what too much. What's, uh, what year truck is it? It's the L5P, it's the 19. Oh, it's got a Cognito lift on it? Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. It's massive back there. All it's right. Massive. With some Archons. Wow, okay, this is perfect. Like this height is perfect. Man, this, this truck is huge. Mm -hmm. Got a good turn. Yeah, full lot. Right there, just about. Mm -hmm. It hits that, uh, that plug a little bit, but we, I might unplug that. All right. Maybe, I don't know, we'll look at it once he. Jeez, tiring over all these trucks. <laughs> Good God. Like, this is perfect because on your last truck, on your LML, you wanted to do a 10 to 12 inch lift. I did. Because you wanted to go high, but I mean, this is pretty much the same height as previous generation on a 12 inch lift. Or a 10 inch lift, I should say. Yeah, this thing is huge, guys. Alex, how tall are you? Five seven, five eight. Uh, not tall enough. Yeah, five eight. Five eight. Yeah, me and you are like same height. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> if I didn't have shoes on, I'd probably go underneath. Them. Right. So Alex is five eight, probably like five nine with those shoes on. I guarantee you, if you guys have seen Alex's truck, it's super detailed, and he definitely appreciates all the detail that went into this truck. Mm -hmm. Like just all the colors. Uh, yeah, the traction bar is blue, but it contrasts is pretty good with the torsion bars. Oh yeah, they picked like which parts to be white and blue very well. Right. And then the stainless is thrown in with it. Mm -hmm. It's like they don't have too much blue on the one component to where it's just like too much blue. I love how we did the, um, the rotors in the back. Oh, let me see. Look through the wheel. Oh, we that blue right here. And then the lip of the rotor still. Oh, yeah. They probably did the whole thing and just let the brake pads scrape it off. Yeah. Even the calipers are white and blue. Oh, those are the lug nuts that you're gonna get. Yeah, I need to ask him about these, how he likes them. It doesn't look like anything chipped off when they torqued them down. Mm -mm. The powder coat's pretty thick, yeah. pretty good. So this truck will definitely be done because I mean the only thing missing is alignment. I think that's it. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>